Is there something still blocking the road? That one's working. That one should be working now. Good. So light oil is getting cracked, which means our production of heavy and light oil should be picking back up again. Which also means the this should be able to work again. Excellent. Because now everything has somewhere to go. And now we should have petroleum gas coming in here. That goes like that. Now we just need power. It requires three petroleum gas, and we're still not getting nearly enough of it. And now we just need the iron plate we're missing. I suppose we could just tap the end of the... Uh... Yeah, we'll just bring the iron plate through on the iron line here. Take it from there. And it's just going to come down right here. This is, this is a backup system. This is not the primary way I want to be producing sulfuric acid. It's obvious that I'm going to have to start thinking about moving my sulfuric... readjusting my productions here, because some of these are not working right. Alright, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on sulfur. Sulfur production is low. Sulfur production is low because petroleum gas production is low. Petroleum gas production is low because... We just don't have enough of it. I can't remember why I had that sticking out like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. We're just not making enough of that. But, okay, where is the line broken? Okay, it should be able to... Alright, why is it not going anywhere? That's full. Why is that not full? Is there some reason why that wasn't... I guess that just needed to be reset. We may need more of these. But let's just make sure that's actually going through the system now. Yeah, all right, we're making it not quite continuously yet. So we're still having some gaps in production. Oh, I remember what's going on here now. Do I have a second refinery? I've not made a second refinery yet. This is where a second refinery could go. That's why it's set up the way it is. Uh, let's just get some more light oil cracking going on, because it's obviously a problematic... Um, area. Power. There we go. And one, two. Out of underground pipe. Rather than running all the way across the map, let's just make it right here. Okay. And... And then the output... Last one right there. Four light oil cracking lines going, which means we're actually ahead on light oil now. To make that to use use that to make liquid fuel as well. All right, you aren't producing because you don't have enough sulfur again. You don't have enough sulfur because you're still not getting enough petroleum gas. I can't even answer why at this stage.
You need three petroleum gas to do it. I guess another refinery is going to be in order as well here. All right, what's happened here? These are our buffers are full. This is our uh, nickel, and uh, we're just clearing up another. All right, let's make another oil refinery because I have a sneaking hunch we're going to need it. Refinery, I think I have everything I need right here. I have stone, I have you, and I have steel. And I have circuit boards. Beautiful. I can't recall if I might have made a factory for them already. Oh, and yeah, we're getting hit up at the front there, and I don't have auto repair in place there yet. Okay. Just realized there is going to be a problem with mirroring these. Because the outputs can't be controlled. So I'm probably going to have to do that differently than I've got it currently set up. So we'll just rethink that for now. Crude oil, hold on. Advanced, basic, advanced, and crude. What's the difference? We don't have crude oil, we have, wait, hold on, we do. Five, two, and three. Three, three, and four. I guess if we wanted the heavy oils for some reason. We'll go with advanced again. And we need a whole bunch more underground pipe segments. Put about half our remaining iron pipe into there. Half of that. Let's see what we got going on here. Do I have enough? Probably not. If I'm uh, careful, I might. No, I am going to need enough to... I need one more set, which means I'm going to actually need pipe as well. And now for one underground pipe section. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And last one. Under and over. Now why are you not producing? You are not producing because you don't have enough crude oil now. Because we didn't put the last underground pipe section in place. Darn it! Hold on, maybe I don't need to. That will do as a temporary placeholder. There we go. All right, we are up and running. We got double patrol. We got double refining, and we've got four crackers. And this is still not. Hold on, where is this supposed to be going? That is a completely unnecessary connection now. Well, hopefully. I, I don't think we're making enough sulfuric acid yet. Do we have any alloys that require lead? Let's have a look. Nickel and tungsten, copper and tin, copper and zinc, silver and gold, copper, tin, nickel, iron. Solder requires tin and lead. Cobalt steel is cobalt and iron. So we have not yet discovered any other processes as of yet that require lead. So that, these are actually working now though, right? Slowly. You're very, very slowly working. You require one sulfuric acid. That's our so sulfuric acid is our problem spot still. 
The sulfur dioxide, yeah, it doesn't come unless... Hmm. That is just not an adequate quantity of light oil. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That should do it. Half the system's bloody disconnected. These pipes do nothing. We'll leave them there anyways. There we go. God sakes, all that fussing around and it was just a bad connection. Sulfuric acid should be coming in a lot faster now. Yeah, five sulfuric acid. We're making good use of that inserter stack size bonus. More inserters? Express long, express... Okay, so these are even faster versions of all of our inserters. The delay is still coming from... That one won't reach. I don't have any fasts, so let's just not worry about it for now. Let's head down to the end, and let's actually finish what we started the last couple episodes with, because this will have been two or three episodes of trying to get this organized. I can't even remember now. It's been a busy day. I was not supposed to take this long. Okay. Alright, so this is only allowing... 10 substations. Now, what I did not do is allow a poem for these, because I was still working on getting my smart inserters. Smart inserter says... Solar panel mark twos. Ooh, when, did I, when did I research those? I haven't. That's why. They're not on the system yet. N nitrile? Ah, let's do gems. So it's large solar panels, and the condition is going to be let's say 50 for now is 50, less than 50. All right, and then we take the limits off of here. You're supposed to be allowed. Are you not? Oh, you're not making any yet, dang it. Oh my god. Sitting here trying to figure out why on earth this thing hasn't been working. There's no better spot to access those. No, there is not. Whoops. Suffice to say, these are going to be underpasses, not overpasses. Right from... There we go. And a splitter right here, and... There we go. Now we need fast inserters right here, because we need a lot of those, so we, we want to double time the insertion of those. And then our last item is a mixture of batteries. Accumulators require, or high capacity, iron plate and batteries in reasonable quantities. All right, those take a long time to make, so. might want to double up production, but I'm not set up for double production right now. Nah. Patient production. Hey, look at this. Look, at, look how much coal we've already gone through. Alright, our buildings are being damaged, which is why we also need to ro automate robots. Not robots, but RoboPort expansion. Oh, crap. They've probably all run out of batteries, or, uh, shoot, 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 we've lost turrets. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. 
going, we're going, we're going. Holy crap. Okay. Alright, we need to replace these with... There aren't any more here. Okay. First we need to put the turrets back. Just as they were. We need to load them with quantity. Which means about half again as many. This is getting hit a lot. So let's put 25 or so in each. Twenty-five in there. Twenty-five in there. Get them fixed up. All right, that should deal with those for the moment. Okay. The whole business of them being destroyed like that is a little aggravating, but we should be able to hold out for a while now. This we need to do a swing through that before the evolution gets too serious for us. But more importantly, I think we need to autom we need we need automation automated reload and yeah. All right, batteries. Where are the batteries being brought in? Right here. They're not being made at great quantities or speeds. But we're not waiting on anything, so it might just be a case of expanding the supply. All right, we'll split it right here. This is going to come up right next to those. And I'll bring the iron along. Actually, we'll move it over by one, and then we don't even have to fuss around with the uh, uh, joining up the iron. Of course it is. There we go. Put in a splitter right here. Whoop! Yeah, that was sort of one thing I was afraid would happen. Boom. And actually we'll do it this way. Under we go get it right next to these circuits because then we can throw we'll put this right first one right there and you're going to make high capacity accumulators and pop them into the circuit network right there and you're just going to be have a really simple limiter on you you're going to just have a two stack limit Okay, and let's put all these batteries I'm carrying in here. There we go. You're limited to 50. We doing okay here? Yes, we are. We could use one more. Three of those right there. That should help. Okay. Now then, we need more. Now I'm buffering the coal for the future. That's sort of my emergency supply I'm building up right now. Now we have one. I actually need to reconfigure this. All right, we'll do those. Do that right there, that right there. That'll clear up that roll. And we'll clear that one like so. And that'll get rid of this entire patch in just a little while. Perfect, I think that's all of it. Unless there's coal under here. There is coal under there. Okay. That will do. OK, 
Okay. A little belt balancing, that'll help. It'll take care of itself eventually. A few of these. Oh, apparently that one was actually in use. That one can go though. So can that. Okay, we got accumulators coming in, and we've got solar panels, and we've got substations. So let's have a look at these various things and see how we want to configure a solar array here. We want something nice, simple, and tileable that we can then use our robots to lay out. So we use a single substation. How big are these solar panels anyways? Fairly large. Two, three, and four. So the question is, how close do substations need to be to connect? Probably needs means I need some more substations. And then we'll see how many of these we require for a single one. They have to be not over. They have to be. Ah, I'm stuck. Precisely linked together. All right. Well, if I do a grid of four of these. See what this is all going to look like. Well, hold on. If we do. Alright, change of plans. If this is all connected, then we need. Let's see if we can do a one substation design. These are actually mildly inconveniently sized. Where to put our accumulators? Right there. These big solar panels are actually a little bit more trouble than I thought they would be. All right. Well, maybe it's going to be a slightly different design. Let's start with uh, accumulators. So we'll put accumulators there, and then how many of these solar panels can we fit in here? We could do it this way. So then the tiling All right, let's just disconnect this for a minute. Need a few more solar panels. We could connect them together with yeah. We're going to connect these together with regular power with uh, regular power poles on the four corners, and then we'll be able to walk through the gaps here. So what we'll do is we'll do pull, or do we use the uh, high tension the big poles so that they have high distance reach. That seems a little excessive though, because the big poles require steel and copper, whereas the little poles require less steel and less copper. And they're not going to be tiled that far away. So yeah, let's do it that way. We'll do one there. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Two three, and four. All right, there's our solar array. And I 
make sure we got those power poles. Oh, that one. Oh, we got one in the wrong place. There we go. They're actually operating. So there we are. It's not a perfect setup, but I think it's going to work quite nicely. The question is, the proportion of... Well, these things hold a lot of energy. Now, do we have robot overlap here? We probably don't. Now, what we're going to do, this is all zero pollution, I believe. So this is going to go... We're going to start expanding the tree farm base. And what we'll do is we'll start shipping solar panels, accumulators, and stuff on the uh, tree farm railway. Something's getting damaged. Did we run out of ammo again? Nope. Just somebody got a hit in. All right, next... Next up, we need to build RoboPorts and their related things. So we need to automatically make... We're going to start making the Mark 1 stuff. So we need circuit boards, copper, and steel. Steel. Alright, and then our RoboPorts. We're not going to need those RoboPorts. What we're going to need are Bob's... Yeah, so we'll need because the robo the robo port che robo chests. Okay, so we need a system because we're going to need to start making logistic zone expanders, charging points, and robo chests. And that stuff's going to go right over in here. So starting with the raw materials. Where are those raw materials? They're right here. So steel, copper, and circuit boards. Steel, copper, circuit boards. Everything we need is right here already. Except for a way to actually get these circuit boards. Ah, nope. We have a way to get those circuit boards. Do we? Where can we sneak in an exit point? We could just bring them around. It's not like we're short on the fool things. Okay. So those require copper cable. They're the only ones that require copper. So let's do the copper here. Copper coil. Okay. And then our basic arrays are going to require you know what we could do also is combine these together actually no because we're not going to require any more copper than that are we that's the only component that needs copper okay So you're making the coil, you are going to make the uh, antenna arrays, which require steel. And these two are going to come together and we're going to create a shared belt now. Oops. Actually, we can do it right here. We just need to go one higher so that the uh, we can get what we need out of here. Let's do it that way. Get rid of this. And that should do that. Okay. That creates the... Uh, antenna arrays. Now the um, we need charging pads. They all require antenna arrays, don't they? Charging pads. 
antenna array charging pad. So we can throw the antenna arrays and the charging pads together on a belt. Right here. So that'll be the product. So you start making charging pads. And then you're both going to start unloading right here. And then the third component is the hatches. Hatches require steel and iron gear wheels. Those I'll figure out in a minute. I might just manually make them for the moment because the two critical components of the array are going to be uh, the zone expanders and the charging pads. Now if I move these over by one, charging arrays We're definitely taking damage here. Not a lot, but a little. Let's see. Is there space in between these for two logistics chests? No, there's not. Okay. Then we'll just have them right here. Yeah, we need that right there. need to bring some steel over here. Um, okay, we'll just bring these under briefly. Okay. And then we'll bring the steel under to here and around. You're going to make zone expanders, you're going to make charging pads, and then we'll just need a robot homes. Alright, and we need long arms, and we need fasts. Yeah fast for the steel plate for sure. And then we need these going out into logistics chests. And we'll build the wall just a little bigger for now. Smart inserters output. You filter Charging pads. And this one's going to be connected to that. And it's going to be a... So it's not a filter, it's a... Condition... Charging point mark 1's less than... And you are going to be set to Logistics Zone Expanders Mark 1 less than 10. Alright, you are not getting... Oh, no, you're getting everything. Slowly, but you're getting everything. Okay. Now, the only piece we're missing now is... These robo port arrays. Are these uh, smart? The hatch doors. The hatch doors requiring steel and iron gears. Let's just make those by hand. Steel and. I know I had iron gears on me. There they are. Because we're not going to need a huge number of these. These are going to be the boxes that they store in. 
Let's make these. You're going to start manufacturing a couple of robo chests. So you're going to need robo ports. You're going to need these, and you're going to need smart chests, which we should have a bunch of right here. And these are where robots can sit and recharge, uh, can be basically parked. What are you missing? Circuit boards. Our circuit board production has actually crashed. Which is good to know. We better find out why. In the meantime, what do we need more of? We've got enough of those. We've got enough of those. So let's just load everything into the two locations. And we'll throw a extra charging port in here. All right, let's start expanding our network and let's get... We'll get those, we'll get those, and we've already got our charging pads. So let's see, zone expanders, where'd you go? There they are. All right, so first things first, let's get our logistics to actually cover our logistics production, which it will almost do. Man, if it was just over by one more, 